plenty of heat and plenty of humidity today. And even though we didn't have a heat advisory issued for the Midlands, there were parts of South Carolina that did see a heat advisory. Officially, we made it to 99 degrees. Looking at some of these high temperatures today, there were triple digits out there. And you don't need an advisory to be reminded that this heat can be dangerous on your health. Meteorologist Garrett Biedenbaum spoke to the experts at USC about this heat. The South is known for being hot, Columbia even famously hot. But as temperatures climb, we need to be a little more cautious, especially while trying to stay fit. If you like to exercise, it's best to do so before 10 a.m. and after 3 p.m., avoiding the hottest part of the day. Dr. Russell Pate, a USC exercise science professor, says there are many ways to stay safe in the scorching sun. Extreme heat uh, is a stressor and it can be risky. Persons who become dehydrated uh, because of exposure to the, to the temperatures uh, are at increased risk of heat exhaustion or heat stroke, and so fluid replacement is important. If you are already physically fit, you might have a little less to worry about. Persons that are normally uh, active and maintain a good level of fitness and are, are prepared to apply common sense, uh, can, can and should be physically active through the, through the summer months. Still, the heat doesn't keep everyone indoors. Children continue to play at Finley Park with parents and grandparents, keeping a watchful eye on the fun in the sun. Just only let her play on things that's in the shade and not the sun because it's too hot. An hour at the park's long enough. And if it gets too hot? The naps are good. <laughs> The heat is here to stay, with the only relief being the usual afternoon thunderstorms. Dr. Pate has some simple advice. Apply common sense and uh, rehydrate thoroughly. In Columbia, Garrett Beatonball, Watch Fox News. And I think that little girl said it best there with that, ah, after having some water. I got to tell you folks, the heat... It's here to stay. The rain showers that fired up today, unfortunately not taking enough of that energy out of the atmosphere to help make things a little more bearable. Here it is on Skywatch Doppler radar. The line now drifting south. We're left with a few sprinkles here and there and some clouds, but let me get you into real time conditions uh, on the storm activity right now, just so you can get a better uh, feel for where this is currently. Here we go with the radar and you can see that uh, down towards the Charleston area along I-26. If you do have to uh, travel that way this evening, a line of strong thunderstorms, it'll be out of there within about the next two hours. So if you were to leave now, you will run into some of this in Charleston. But as we uh, slide up 26 towards the metro area and into Columbia, you can see that uh, things are starting to fizzle out, which is certainly uh, good news after the activity we dealt with today. Uh, taking a look at Future Watch again, for us, things are done. The red shading over Charleston indicating the heaviest of this activity. That will continue to push out over the next uh, about two hours or so, which is good, as you can see on Skywatch Future Watch. Switching to the Skywatch Weatherbug Network, and I put up Sullivan's Island's uh, fire, fire department camera, and just not seeing the flashes of lightning we were seeing a second ago. It's quite the light show down there, but uh, things at this time, of course, not showing up uh, with those lightning strikes we were seeing a moment ago. I'm sure the second that we change slides, we'll start to see quite a light show out there again. Looking at the temperatures, Manning Regional at Davis Station over in Clarendon County, 77 after a high of 99. Everyone in the 70s after highs in the mid to upper 90s today. And what helped to prevent most of us from reaching that century mark, look at the rain gauge. Manning, two tenths, almost three tenths of an inch of rainfall, just shy of three tenths of an inch of rain in Ridgeway at the Scanna site. Newberry at a quarter of an inch and just over six tenths of an inch in Orangeburg. So that helped out some but just not a whole lot as it didn't really drain all the energy out of the atmosphere. It's still muggy out there and that trend will continue as we head through the overnight hours. Here's future watch and we've got a weak uh, trigger mechanism, this boundary that's set up right over us. So it's not going anywhere as we head into tomorrow. We'll see more potential for heating of the day thunderstorms, not uh, overnight though. Again, all that should be fizzled out. Then as we head through your Wednesday, by lunchtime, exactly like today, things will be relatively quiet, but after lunchtime, they start to fire up with more showers, more thunderstorms. Some could be uh, severe with the gusty wind and some small hail. You can never rule that out with this scenario. And then once we hit sunset, we'll start to see this activity fizzling out. So plenty of heat and humidity out there as we head through the next couple of days. Tonight, not exactly the most pleasant night unless you're a warm weather fan from 81 at midnight to 74 by 6 a.m. Mostly clear out there. Then as we head through the day tomorrow, I'm looking for temperatures to stay just shy once again of the century mark. We made it to 99 today. I do think we'll top out again 
at 99 with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds at 5 to 10 throughout the day. Here's your seven day forecast. I think we're right at 100 degrees come Thursday. And then, hey, we cool down mid 90s as we roll into next week. The rain and thunderstorm chances are lingering as well. Also, wanted to uh, say welcome. We have a new watcher this evening. Mm -hmm. This is Landon <laughs> Snellgrove. He's raising the roof right there. <laughs> Mom, Christy, and Landon doing great, but uh, you know, we, we consider you all our family, so we want to welcome our newest watcher. What it's funny, a it looks cutie. like you put him to sleep. <laughs> He's just raising the roof right now. Is that what it is? He is okay. raising the roof. He's That's excited what I think. to be watching Watch Fox. <laughs> He is too well, congratulations cute, huh? to them. Very what exciting. Is it a few days or a few hours? Sunday at 2.36 p.m. Oh, wow. Was mm -hmm. when he was you born, know all so the specifics. We really have a new one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep, welcome to the world. Thank yes, you so much, welcome. Henry.